everyone and welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX, where today is the first of the Chow Garden episodes. If you know Sonic Adventure, you almost certainly know about the Chow Garden, which is a fun little side mode accessible via this elevator in the hotel over in Station Square. We need one file and eight blocks to save Chow Garden data. Let's do it! Let's create new Chow Garden data. So, the Chow Garden is one of the most famous parts of Sonic Adventure. It is a little side mode where you can pick up and raise these creatures known as Chow that are available here in the garden. The Chow have full life cycles. They have um, really interesting abilities. They have interactions with each other. You can raise them to be basically whatever you want. You can put them in competitions against each other in the chow races. You can go over to the black market over there and buy gifts for them. And we can have them play with the animals we pick up as we go through our adventure. Those animals will give them various abilities and improvements to their stats. All right, I don't want to throw these eggs. If you throw them, you can force them to hatch early, but um, it makes them rather unhappy with, the, with you and just in general. They have personalities and temperaments. Oh my gosh, there's so much to the Chow Garden. People do so... There is so much you can do with this. Let's go ahead and see what these, uh, this TV has to tell us. What are the Chow? Chow are tiny, cute, and mysterious creatures that are adored by people from all over the world. Chow live in the Chow Garden. The Chow Garden is where you can breed and raise Chow. Chow are very easy to raise. The big eggs that you will see in the Chow Garden are Chow eggs. Chow eggs hatch on their own, but you can also hatch them yourself. A Chow's personality will, ha will change depending on the way it was hatched, so try various ways of hatching a Chow. Chow love fruit. If Chow eat fruit, they will grow up to be healthy chow. Fruits grow in the trees in the chow garden. Stand in front of a tree and press the X button. After grabbing onto a tree, use the control stick to shake it. Fruits will fall off the tree if you continue to shake it for a while. Have you seen the small animals yet? In the action stages, you will find many small animals. If you give a small animal to a chow, the chow will change its shape and act as a small animal would. Chow change according to the small animal that is given to them. So give a Chow different types of small animals and see how it will transform. Chow like to be petted or carried around. Chow do not like it when they are attacked by a spin attack or are punched. Chow like to be given fruit seed. When the flowers around a Chow start to bloom, it indicates that they can breed. If you get two Chow together, the Chow may lay an egg. Chow love fruits. There are various types of fruits and they all affect Chow in different ways. First, uh, fruits build up Chow stamina, which can help them win the Chow race. For some unknown reason, the Chow Garden has its own time, and it's only active when you are there. So even if you do have many gardens, you don't need to worry about time when you're in a particular garden raising a Chow. Have you found a weird looking device in the Chow Garden? That device is called the Chow Transporter. We'll take a look at it in a moment. You can transport your Chow to the Game Boy Advance with the Chow Transporter. Do I have... Oh, I need to get my Game Boy Advance for my brother. I'll do that soon. You can even name your Chow during this process. Uh, how many more are there? Oh, there is a lot more tutorials. We'll go over the rest soon. But for now, the Chow hatched! Oh goodness, they hatched behind us! Well then, let's go ahead and pick you up and raise you. Or, uh, can we... Okay, that's Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2, there's a lot more interaction with the Chow. So let's get started by uh, with raising them. Let's go ahead and feed you a Banui. And that'll increase your run by four points and your fly by... W Why does it increase fly? Because of the giant ears? What do the penguins do? Let's give the penguin to the other Chow. Swim by four, fly, and run by one each. Fair enough. All right, let's make sure all of the animals have been used up by the chow. And then we can just hang out with them for a little bit. So my plan is, uh, each time, uh, for every single episode where we head into the chow garden. Can I just keep giving the same 
Okay, we can't pick up the animals once they're used. Got it. I think that's all the animals we have. But my plan is... For every single main story episode of Sonic Adventure, we're gonna come and spend about 20 minutes just hanging out in the Chow Garden, seeing how they're doing, and making sure we're taking good care of our Chow. I don't have any particular goals for what I wanna do with the Chow. I don't have any particular goals for like, oh, I want them to like, be this type of Chow or whatever. Oh God, it has penguin eyebrows. Oh God, they both have penguin eyebrows. Hang on, I think this one also had an interesting smile. Yeah, look at that smile. Aww. Yeah. There are very particular types of chow you can create uh, by doing by giving them very particular animals. I'm not going to be going for any of those special chow. I'm just going to be raising them as I do. And we'll see what happens with them. Okay, let's go ahead and shake the fruit out of the tree. Oh my goodness. Game. Why with the camera? There we go. Now who needs a fruit? There it is. Grab you, feed to this chow. Here you are. And you know what? Yeah, let's watch you eat. Yummy, yummy. Oh, I love that smile. Are you, uh, you eating? Did I distract you from eating by petting you? Oh my goodness, I did. Okay, here. No, 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 no. Let me grab the fruit. Let me grab the fruit. And then we feed you. There you go. And look at that. As you eat the fruit, I guess you're done. Your stamina will slowly gain experience. You really like hopping in that water, don't you? Chow cannot swim at first. They will just panic and flail, flail around. I'm gonna try and keep them out of the water until they've learned to swim at least a little bit. All right, you eat up. I know it's leftovers, but still. Okay, you're a bit more of a hungry one. In that case, let's try and make sure the other Chow has eaten their fill. Why did you let go, Sonic? There we go. Okay, here, eat your fill. You are full. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that be then. And you ate the entire fruit. Good for you. All right, well, you have fun just laying around and being a bit lazy. While they're over here just relaxing and enjoying their time, let's go check out the, bla uh, the black market. What do you have in the black market? We can buy various items with our rings, which is why I'm so devastated that we screwed up and lost all of our rings in the first level. Okay, we can bring items here to sell, so things like the fruit. Hero and dark fruit will affect the type of chow you have. Hero fruit will make them more heroic. Dark fruit will make them more dark and evil. We've got round fruit, triangular fruit. I don't know the exact effects of these. I imagine they have particular effects on your chow. I might have to look that up at some point. We got mushrooms, and looks like that's about it for now. Don't really have enough money to do a lot of uh, chopping, purchasing. The items will change periodically, so we should come back and check every now and then. Probably once per chow garden check-in, we'll go and check in on the shop itself. All right, how are the chow doing? How are you? Just kind of enjoying yourself? Let's pet you a little bit, make you happy. Oh, look at you just relaxing. Not quite sure what I want to name them yet. I'll pick a name soon. I, I will pick a name soon in order to name them. Where's the other one? You fool! Please! Oh, they keep trying to drown themselves. Oh, but look at that smile. I can't be upset with you. All right, well, off you go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the Chow Garden just while they're chilling. So we've got all these fruit trees that we can get fruit out of in order to feed our Chow and get their stamina up. Um, over here are teleporters. Let's talk to the TV about this. Warpole. This is a warpole. You can easily go to gardens you have previously been to. 
you may bring chow and eggs with you too. Alright, so yeah. We can bring chow to two other chow gardens. There are three total in Sonic Adventure. We'll check them all out in due time. Uh, we need to unlock the other ones first, but in due time we'll get to all of them. Over here is the Chow Transporter. Earlier we were reading the tutorials. It mentioned we can connect to the Game Boy Advance and check out Chow Adventure. I don't know if I'm actually going to do Chow Adventure, the tiny Chow Garden. It's basically a side mode that you can put onto your Game Boy Advance with a Game Boy Advance link cable. But I don't have a feasible way to record a Game Boy Advance for the purposes of this. So I probably won't end up doing it. But it's a side mode where you can raise your chow for a little bit, have them do like particular mini games, and I think also earn a lot of rings and or items in order to help raise them. But we can read the TV here to learn more. Transporter machine. If you put a chow in this machine, you can take your chow for a walk. Pick up your chow and jump on the red button. Yeah, you gotta have a Game Boy Advance and a Game Boy Advance link cable for that though. Over here is where we go to the Chow Races. We'll check that out in due time. Welcome to the Chow Stadium, home of the Chow Races. Alright, yeah, we'll check that out in due time once our Chow are a little bit older and a little bit more capable of participating. Right now their stats are zero all around, so yeah. Alright, you don't seem to be wanting to be pet too much right now. Whoa, that fruit just fell out of the tree. I'll grab it in a moment. We'll see if the chow are hungry again. This chow in particular really likes to be pet. They just sit there and vibe when they're getting pet. But yeah, all the chow have their own individual personalities, which I mentioned that earlier. It's just really cool that that's a thing. All right, it seems like you might be a little more hungry now. Nope, never mind, you're full. All right, well. I won't force you to eat. How about you? You're full. Okay, fair enough. I think there's also things we can do with these eggshells. We might need to give them particular animals before they're willing to do anything with the eggshells, though. For now, the eggshells are just going to be laying around as garbage in our chow garden. All right. You're adorable. Adorable little chow friend. Uh, I guess there's not too much left we can really do with the chow at this moment. If we want to be able to give them more abilities, we, need, we either need to wait for them to be hungry so we can give them more fruit so their stamina goes up, or we need to go into more stages to give them... Uh, to get more animals in order to have them play with and gain those abilities. So I'm thinking for this first one, let's finish off by reading the rest of the tutorials real quick. And then we'll call that good. So about the Chow Transporter, have you found a weird looking device? We've read that. You can transport your Chow to the Game Boy Advance with the Chow Transporter. You can even name your Chow during this process. All right, here's where we left off. In order to drop off your chow, you need a Game Boy Advance and a GameCube Game Boy Advance cable. Insert the Game Boy GameCube cable to controller socket 2, 3, or 4 of the Nintendo GameCube and turn on the Game Boy Advance. If you insert a game pack that does not have Tiny Chow Garden, the chow will not be able to be transported. So I think that means you need to have particular Game Boy Advance Sonic games? If you insert a game pack with Tiny Chow Garden in the Game Boy Advance, make sure it displays Ch Tiny Chow Garden on the screen. You should be able to do it with no game pack inserted too, but that might be a Sonic Adventure 2 thing. Once you are ready, pick up your Chow and stand on the red button on the Chow Transporter. Select Drop Off from the Chow Transport menu and select which Game Boy Advance you wish to transport your Chow to. Then your Chow will be transported to the Tiny Chow Garden in the Game Boy Advance. When you transport a Chow into a Game Boy Advance without a, a game pack inserted, the, in the transporter will create an artificial copy of the Chow you are transporting. Therefore, the original Chow you transported will remain in the GameCube. It may seem like there are now two Chow, but when you pick up the Chow and bring him back to the Chow Garden, the original Chow will be replaced by the Chow you have brought back. Horrified! If you have a game pack with a tiny Chow Garden inserted in your Game Boy Advance when you transport your Chow, your Chow will be transported from the GameCube to the Game Boy Advance without making an artificial copy of the Chow. For more details, please read about game packs with Tiny Chow Garden. 
Game Boy Power. When you turn the power off on the Game Boy Advance, which you transported your Chao to, the tiny Chao Garden will disappear and your Chao inside will be lost. Please keep the Game Boy Advance in sleep mode even when you are not playing. However, remember that sleep mode still will still consume a low amount of battery power. There is a way to save your Chao data. It's explained in About Game Packs with Tiny Chao Garden. When the power is accidentally turned off, your original Chao is re still remains in the Nintendo GameCube. That means you have not lost your Chao, but you will lose all the experience your Chao has gained in the Tiny Chao Garden. The Chao you see in the Tiny Chao Garden is different from the one in the Chao Garden in the Nintendo GameCube. They all look like infant Chao. But don't worry about it, your Chao will return to its original shape once it returns to the Chao Garden in the GameCube. Better get going. Sonic, be patient. I'm reading tutorials. Game packs with Tiny Chao Garden. There's a way to be worry-free about losing your Chao in the Tiny Chao Garden when the Game Boy Advance is powered off. Most of the Game Boy Advance games that are created by the Sonic team contains a Tiny Chao Garden. That means you can save your Chao data as long as you have the game pack with Tiny Chao Garden inserted into the Game Boy Advance. Once you save your data, you can turn off the power without losing your Chao. So yeah, if you are playing Tiny Chao Garden with an actual Sonic game from Sonic Team, you can permanently transfer your Chao to the, uh, to the Game Boy Advance game, and then save it, and eventually, if you want, you can transfer the Chao back. If you don't have a game pack, then you just transfer a copy of the Chao, and then you can get that copy back. But yeah, no, I think that's basically how it works. When transporting a Chao to Tiny Chao Garden, there is one thing you must keep in mind when you use the game pack with Tiny Chao Garden to transport your Chao. When you transport your Chao from the GameCube, make sure it displays Tiny Chao Garden on your Game Boy Advance screen. Otherwise, you will not be able to transport your Chao into the Tiny Chao Garden. So please keep this in mind. And, oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. There's a secret. It has been said that there is a special type of egg you can only get in the Tiny Chao Garden. Interesting. All right, the last tutorial is about the homepage and the Chao races. Let's do, let's look at the homepage. Let's access Chao's homepage. I don't know if this website's still up. At this site, you can get hints on raising your Chao, make friends, download wallpaper and paper crafts, and find other fun stuff. I don't know if that website's still up, but eh, maybe. Maybe it's on the internet archive. If that's even still around with the lawsuits happening. All right then, let's check in on our Chao one more time. Make sure they're all happy and content. And I think we're gonna call that good for our first visit into the Chow Garden. So then, next time we check in on them, I'm gonna actually have names for these two Chow. And we'll bring whatever animals we pick up in the next episode of the main story of the game. I will see everyone next time for that.